I practice and preach civility outside of the mat as soon as I cross the circle. I'm coming for blood. I won ACC's twice. I was a three-time All-American. Most wins in a career. A top 10 in NCAA history. My biggest thing is trying to make athletes conscious of the words that they're using. This is about how we treat one another. My given name is Herbert Hudson Taylor IV. I was a theater major at the University of Maryland. While there, um, I'd say in the first month of class, I had classmates and friends who started to come out. Seeing them take that step to being truer to themselves really made it personal in a, in a way that it hadn't been before. And then to go back to the locker room, um, back with the people who I should be most in line with, and hear them use that homophobic and derogatory and demeaning language made me realize that this wasn't what I wanted of my sport, this isn't what I want of my teammates, and um, made me realize that I was in a unique position to do something about it. Athlete Ally is a nonprofit organization dedicated to educating and empowering the straight allies in sports to speak out against homophobia and transphobia. A lot of the work that I do stems from me traveling to various schools and talking to the athletic departments, talking to the, the captains, talking to the coaches, and really just educating them um, about the voice that they can have and the difference they can make in the lives of others. I have a pledge, it's the Athlete Ally Pledge. It's an affirmative statement that says, you know, I pledge to, to living by a new standard of athletic integrity and welcoming and respecting um, all people regardless of their perceived or actual sexual orientation, gender identity. Now Athlete Ally, we have about almost 30 Athlete Ally ambassadors at universities across the country. And these are student athletes who want to make a difference on their team. There's always an assumption that in order to be an ally, you must be gay, or you must have a, a sibling or a friend who's immediately affected by LGBT issues. And the truth was, uh, you know, while I was a theater major and I knew kids who were coming out, it was more about respect and about creating an inclusive culture. As a coach, it's, it's a little different. The power dynamic is different. My um, my role as a leader is different, so I, I've, I've treaded carefully because I don't want to be forcing any athletes to, to have specific beliefs. Uh, I just want to enable uh, a safe culture. So um, the way that I've primarily tried to do that, both at Columbia and elsewhere, is by trying to instill um, a, an honor code. Really just be conscious of your words and make other people feel safe uh, and included in, in our athletic space. I think we're all in this together, so uh, I think it's important for us to share the responsibility of changing the athletic culture together.